Hi there, this is our Jashoni M215E lathe, it's Spanish made, very heavy duty lathe, gap bed. Somebody's fitted a reasonably modern uh, large uh, three jaw chuck on it and a quick change tool post at some stage. Um, it ticks over pretty good for an old machine. Um, the two things I've noticed on it is um, it's got a bit of an oil leak at a flange just below that headstock. It's not too bad, but it does leak a bit of oil there. And it's got um, two clamps um, in under this tailstock and one of the wee clamp um, things is missing on the back, which will be easy enough for someone to make. So you'll see from the photos, um, the front and the rear, the big advantage with this particular um, lathe is it's got a very big spindle bore. I think it's about a 104 or somewhere like that. So it's, um, it'll have some really good uses um, with that big spindle bore. Um, so obviously all your changes are there, etc. Um, your tail stock moves in and out nice. It's a bit rough up there, but not bad and that lock's working there. Um, that carriage is nice to move and so is that cross slide. Very little movement in there and that compound slide moves good with again very little movement in that. Um, your coolant pump is there, it's a bit noisy. We haven't put um, fluid in it um, so I'm assuming that it works. Alright, I'll put some power on it and run you through all the uh, gears etc. Um, so I've got it in a low range at the moment and I've got that lead screw running there. So basically this handle there gets the lead screws and feeds running. Um, this one here changes the direction and this one gets the feed shaft running. Um, uh, I can change those speeds there of that shaft and they're all changing nicely and easy to put through. Um, so this is the engagement for the lead screw. It's coming towards me and I can change that direction um, to that way. Um, so that's the lead screw, it's engaging nicely and I'll put that feed on. And your handle over here sets that. So at the moment it's feeding the carriage towards me and down feeds that cross slide across. So there's those feeds. Um, I'll run you through the speeds now. Now that um, was in 18, which was the slowest, and 31 will be the next one. 52, now that's the highest of that blue range. And now I'll take you through to um, the next range, which will be, the next range will be, yeah, there, uh, 62, there, that's the next one, 62, 120. Two hundred. All right, I'll take you through to that next range, which will be there. That's ninety. One sixty. And 275. Okay, last range. Be there. Um, 400. That's 400. Seven fifteen. Last one, 1200. 
So there's the speed range, um, generally it's a little bit noisy in the headstock but they make them pretty strong in there. Um, so there it is, it's got that quick ch change tool post, it's got the decent size chuck on it, uh, the 104mm spindle and it's all set to go.